Hey everyone, James Hurst with The Marketing Show, and in today's video, I wanna show you how to use the new donations form that High Level has come out with. Name your price, donations, maybe a little tip jar, online tip jar. Uh, someone owes me a hundred bucks, and so I want to use this as an opportunity to create this donations uh, new functionality and then send them this kind of invoice thing. For those of you that know I use the bounty hunters, uh, I might do something like that where you can uh, name your price, or if you're gonna ask a question on The Marketing Show, I might say, hey, you know, if you'd like to leave a donation below, then you could do that. So that's pretty exciting. Let's jump on over here and take a look. So what you gotta do is you have to enable this in labs if you're just watching this now, otherwise it might just already be enabled. Head over to your funnel. And the first thing you're gonna do is go to your form, okay? So this was just a normal looking form. In fact, so if I go like this and take this off of here, right? This was just a normal looking form. I went over to the plus sign and then I went to payment element and I drag it over. There we are, okay? So it kind of has these pre-built things here. I'm actually just gonna take those off if I wanna truly do a name your price option, okay? And then uh, I also, this tripped me up here, but you have to flip this over to live mode if you want this to actually work, but definitely flip it over to test mode while you are testing, but just be aware that that's there. You can uh, toggle the 100% uh, safe and secure payment for the, I just went ahead and did the, the options here, I just did message, uh, not open URL, I just did uh, thank you first name. <clears throat> and then uh, that is pretty much it. If you go out to the page, now you gotta, you gotta add this to a page, I mean, you ideally, right? So all I did was I uh, head over here to um, the site. So I go to sites, and then I went to my site, and then I went to my page, I made a new page, and then I added the form to that page. Now, I don't know what this looks like from someone else's perspective, right? So there's the page, save and publish, go view it, um, right out here is the live page. So then someone's gonna come in here and uh, type in an, another amount, so $100 put their details in and submit. I mean, I guess I could put a real dollar amount through here. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so company name is DDX Web, and then James and then Hearst, and then let's put in a fake number. And let's put in a test email address, so James and then invoice at ddxweb.com. And let's put in, I'm just curious if like this sends an invoice or what, you know? So let's do, let's do that one. And then eight, four, six, Okay, and then let's submit. Must be at least 50 cents, see, I didn't know that. Okay, and then let's submit that. Let's see what happens. Thank you, James. All right, so um, what does that look like on the contact record? for one, so we have a, um, you know, so here's that right there, contact created, form submitted, payments, is there a payments, there's, there's a payments, there it is, 50 cents paid, succeeded, charge now, Oh, it's keeping the card on file. That's crazy. Okay. It didn't really send them a receipt from what I can tell, but maybe Stripe sent me a receipt at least. Right, so I'm gonna go check this one out. There's no receipt. Oh, look at that, look at that. Now that is a function of being set up on, uh, and I just got a Stripe notification as well. 
from uh, my phone. So that is a function of a Stripe receipts being set up. And I actually have a video, which I will link up right here in the card. And, and then, um, so you, yeah, having that enabled kind of saved me because I don't really have a workflow and it looks like it's not tied into, uh, you know, the invoices receipts is when you pay those it automatically generates a little, it generates a little email from the system here. So, um, that's pretty cool though, overall. And then let's see here. Did I, I guess I didn't really get anything as the business owner other than, other than notification. So, um, yeah, hope that helps guys. And, uh, if you're looking at upgrading your high level to the SAS mode, get that automatic sub account creation, unlock all the features. Definitely get with me for uh, getting my bonuses and support by getting those existing accounts migrated over to SAS mode. Uh, I'll have a video right here that explains some of that. And with that being said, guys, take a look at GHL Bounty Hunters. If you have any other questions you'd like answered, go to themarketingshow.com slash questions and submit your questions there. And we'll see you guys in the next video. If you're already on the 297 plan of high level and you know you've been wanting to upgrade to the SaaS mode pro plan to take advantage of automated sub account creation and two to 10 X markup on your SMS rebilling, then I've got a special offer for you that I'd like to help you transition and coach you through that upgrade process, including migrating your existing sub accounts to the SaaS mode plan. They're letting me offer you an exclusive discount as well. Let's talk about what you're gonna get from high level on their side of things, and then we'll talk about my bonuses that come at no extra cost to you. So on the high level side of things, you're gonna get automated sub account creation, automated user provisioning, the SaaS configurator, split testing, agent reporting, the two to 10X markup we discussed, the Eliza booking bot, and finally the big one, advanced API access to connect to hundreds of other softwares with Zapier, Make, or Pabli. I'm on the 497 plan myself. I've coached many other agencies through this upgrade process. I've helped hundreds, if not thousands of agencies with the GHL Bounty Hunters, as well as my YouTube channel. Now, here's what you're going to get from me on my side of things. You're going to get a smarter review requests snapshot, which helps you get more automated five-star reviews. You're going to get the appointment reminder snapshot. You're going to get the support portal snapshot for taking those support requests. SMS chat booking bot, private Facebook group, as well as a private members area with SaaS specific trainings also comes with a massive onboarding checklist, right? Here's the store where I sell these snapshots. You would be getting them for free. And here's the back end of the SAS Pro trainings, okay? You're also gonna get the high level local hero playbook. All of this is at no extra cost to you for upgrading with me today. If you have any more questions, feel free to book a call at the link below, or you can just click here and upgrade right now. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the show. Advice given is for educational purposes only and may not be applicable to your business. You should know that the marketing show receives compensation through its affiliate relationship for the products and services it recommends. Thank you for your support and we hope to see you on the next episode of The Marketing Show.